Hey guys, what's up? What's going on? It's been a while since I posted to this channel. So, uh, I'm posting this on this channel because it's not code related. As you may or may not know, I've had uh, an issue uh, with health. It was not serious, but it was chronic and really not fun. So, it's basically long COVID where for months I was fatigued, had neuropathy in the hands and the feet, pins and needles, feeling it's not comfortable, wooziness, woo, woo, you know, um, heart palpitations, nasty stuff. And I tried all kinds of different approaches. And I'm sharing this so that you guys, if you run across something like this, this video might help you out or you can share it with somebody who might help them out. Anyhow, so I had these symptoms going on for a while. So I went down the route of taking supplements, intermittent fasting, full-fledged fasting, all kinds of stuff. Uh, I have no horse worms now, by the way. You may know what I'm talking about. Um, but it didn't really seem to work. I even did hyperbaric chambers, the old Michael Jackson, where he put you in a chamber and they compress you with air. Nothing really seemed to work. And then one day I said, you know, screw this. I went for a long walk. And I noticed walking, I said, wait a second, my symptoms are diminishing from walking. That's interesting. And then another time, I said, I'm going biking. So I went biking up the mountain. So I'm biking up a mountain. So I have to do deep breathing. You know, biking up a mountain, right? And I noticed within 10 minutes, my symptoms all disappeared. They totally disappeared, gone. And I say, what the hell's going on here? And then when I, I would get back after biking, I would sit down here and all of a sudden all my symptoms would come back again. Boom. So I said, well, what's, what's up? And I reproduced this a few times. And sure enough, what it, I discovered had happened to me, I got COVID and then I lost 20 pounds quickly because of too much fasting and within, within 30 days. And I messed up my neurological system. And um, so you, you want to look into that if you have symptoms similar to mine heart palpitations, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, so what happens, sometimes the body, for whatever reason, so I won't go into all the detail here, you could mess up your uh, neurological system, your parasympathetic and your sympathetic system. Basically, you can mess up the system, your neuro neurology. So this is not psychosomatic, it's not psychological, but it's brain oriented. Basically, my brain thought I was in a, a state of attack. I was still sick with COVID. I had a COVID, I got COVID, and, you know. Um, so it still thought that. And this went on for a while. So it became like a, a habit of my neurological system to think I was still sick. So it was, it was exhibiting symptoms of illness as a result. Um, kind of like Pavlov's dog. If you want to look that up, Pavlov, a scientist, he would ring the bell and the dogs would salivate. You can go look that up, understand what that is all about. So it is a conditioned response. So I have, when I started realizing, or when I figured that might be the case, um, I started, for example, I woke up one night, this happened several, several nights, but one night I woke up and the heart was beating super fast. I was like, I gotta do something about this. Fortunately, I did martial arts for, for a long time, and I learned how to control heart rate through breathing and meditation. So I said, I've got to meditate this out. So I did, and sure enough, my heartbeat, I'm out of practice, unfortunately, but my heartbeat slowly, slowly went down to normal. And now what I've done is I've uh, acted accordingly where I am now treating this as a neurological situation. So I am basically calming my body down all the time through deep breathing, light exercises, bike riding, that kind of stuff. And it's helped quite a bit. My symptoms... I'm not perfect, but my symptoms have really dropped down quite a bit. So it's much, much better than it was. So there you go. That's why my production of videos have been uh, quite uh, much less than it normally is because I've been just feeling just crappy. Uh, although now, as I said, I'm like much, much, much better. I'm not 100% yet, but that will come with, uh, with continued exercises and, uh, you know, clean diet, uh, uh, breathing, relaxation, that type of thing. So you may want to look into that if you know somebody who has long COVID or has been chronically fatigued or chronic headaches or fibromyalgia or neuropathy. These things may be, and I'm not a medical doctor, but they, 
and uh, by, by the way, I went to a couple of medical doctors. They were like, we don't know. Um, it may be related to this as well. So you may want to look into that. Uh, anecdotally, uh, people have reached out to me, several people saying that they have nerve issues and they were able to solve it through deep meditation. Other people who had long COVID bedridden for, uh, some people I've read about, they were bedridden for years, not with COVID, but other things, chronic fatigue. And through uh, retraining of the brain, uh, they were able to get out from under it. So something to consider. Ciao.